Waymaker, you've come, Arisen. Oh, this is glorious. Most glorious. Pardon me, sir. Forgive the ramblings of a handmaiden on a strange errand. <laughs> it's only... Milady's request to see you is a rare thing, you see. First in all my years with her, in truth. I trust you understand the delicacy of the situation. Milady is a married woman, I need not remind you. And well, yes, even innocent conversation could be bent foul were it discovered by others. Pray, walk softly, Arisen, and have a care to let none find you visiting Milady's chambers. has come for me. You must think me a shameless harlot. Would that words could prove my love is pure. Off you and thy sire, and after a long day's ruling, sire? No, you must hide. There is a fullness of spell that dragon. <gasps> Quickly. You storm the lady's bedchambers with the urgency of a man in battle. <laughs> I shan't eavesdrop on the ducal proceedings. I remain to stand watch at the guard, sire. For your protection, of course. <laughs> your coming, I might have dressed more finely. Thirsty, I know you're there! 
The lady is mistaken. I would never violate his grace's privacy while he violates my lady's privacy. Oh, Brooke, none of your japes, fool! Summon the guards! Have this villain removed! Sneaking off to her chambers for a cup of tea. It must be a fine tea. What to come all this way in the dead of night? Perhaps you seek refreshment of a different sort, like a turn into sheets with his grace's own wife. Damn, you're tougher than you seem. Perhaps there's aught to this arisen business after all. My permit. They're my son. He's safe. Make her be praised. That such a fate could befall me. I never so much as considered it. Twas ill luck alone put me in this spot. I but overheard a conversation. I was attending to my duties as a royal aide, and a nobleman spoke nearby, yes? But I knew them not, and gave their fervent whispers little attention. Yet without warning, I found myself summoned by a guardsman. He accused me of spying on the pair, and banished me to the dungeon forthwith. I've lived the memory many times over in this place. Most like I could recall parts of the conversation if pressed. But that means naught now. I seek only to save my life, or failing that, keep harm from my son. Time is short. The guard will return here long, and begin their interrogation. Most like they'll employ torture which leaves my chances of survival pitifully low. I implore you, Arisen, lead me from this terrible place. You are my final hope. Save me, sir. I beg of you. Arisen! 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 
Now. Master, you're hurt! How did this happen? Masterfully done! Tomlin, my son, my son! What? How? I heard tell the Arisen made for the capital and prayed to find you here. I can't even imagine what they must have done to you. But it's all over now. I owe you so much, Arisen. Thank you. Mere thanks seem nothing weighed against your actions, Arisen. Without your aid, I would not stand before you, nor see my son again. This whole ordeal has a foul air about it. I fear the whispers I overheard are joined to sinister workings in the duchy. Perhaps we shall learn what the talk concerned here long. I only pray it causes us no further trouble. I've naught with which to repay your kindness, but if ever you find yourself in need, only say the word, and I'll be at your side. Make her guide you until then, Arisen. Reunited. You've done a proud service here, Master. I'll not soon forget your hand in rejoining them, Arisen. It hurts when your stomach gets too empty, so you eat. Meals and the long stretches between is what life is all about. Fear naught should we lose our way, Master. Your map will serve us. came here to the Abbey in hopes they might find me worthy to send down to the Grand Cathedral in Aldering. No place holds so much wisdom concerning the dragon as there. <laughs> While I am here, I train as a sister of the faith. I'm to gather flowers. They say I've talent as a healer. That if I labor hard enough, I... They say I'll learn to grant blessings upon others through flowers. I fear I am a poor judge of such things. 
Still, what say you, cousin? Tis said a blessing of flowers leaves the recipient awash with joyous feeling. Any luck? Though, I must show them I've an aptitude as a healer. But as I said before, I've little notion what to expect. Could I ask you to give a flower to someone and tell me of their response? Some member of the faith might best judge Kina's ability. A priest, perhaps. Ah, happy coincidence to find you here, Arisen. Shall we show that flower to the Mother Superior? Uh, is... Is this one of Kina's flowers? No, surely not. To imbue the bloom with such energy after such a short time. It is enough to make me doubt my senses. Pray, have the priest in Grand Soren or Cassidus take a look. In truth... She may yet pass the Great Cathedral's gates earlier than not. in her studies. I pray the Maker guide her on to ever greater things. like to see her handiwork. One look at such a flower is enough to glean the power of they who blessed it. This is Kina's then? How marvelous! It would seem she is gifted indeed. Perhaps it will not be so long before the Mother Superior writes the mainland on Kina's behalf. To think on it gives me joy. It was the Maker's hand guided her here to our church. I know it. Kina will be eager to hear what the priest had to say. I've gained quest knowledge. Tis the fruit of Kina's diligence. Come, she'll be eager to hear the news. <laughs> you delivered the flower. And what did the father say? Then they acknowledge my skill as a healer. I knew I was right to have come here. If I continue at this pace, I am sure to earn transfer to the Great Cathedral. I swear I will. Then I shall learn more of the dragon to aid in your journey. I've learned what to do in this quest. It seems our work here is done. Good work, Master. I hear not but ill rumors. Men speak whispers that Arisen are simply fodder for the dragon. Whispers that you act as a sacrifice for others who hope to gauge the beast's strength. They say you're not but a tool, just as the pawns. The rumors say you are played for a fool. By the duke, by the dragon, by some other force even more powerful and sinister. I hear these things and I... 
I know not how to respond. It's as if dark fingers clenched themselves around my heart. Reason, hero, or neither is no concern to me. My only wish is to see you back to us safely. Reason, my... If it is work you want, seek Aldous. You are to see me for your assignments, and no one else. I speak for his grace on such matters. My word is his. As such, any task deserves your full and immediate attention. Pray, make your choice, sir. You've a stake in this, and a right to hear, sir. You know of Forneville. I? He is among the wealthiest of Grand Soren's merchants, though now he stands to lose all. He is accused of a litany of crimes. I would beg a favor, if you've the time. It seems Forneval was as busy in his underground dealings as in his honest work. His bill of crimes includes bribery, fraud, abduction, the selling of secrets, even collusion with salvation. The inquest continues as we speak. Should the present tide prevail, he will like be found guilty and put to death. Opinions are split, however, on the credibility of the present proofs and testimonies. A few days yet remain before the matter is decided. I ask that you go and gather what facts you can. Any proof is welcome, be it evidence or testimony. Aught that clearly shows his guilt or innocence. Justice must be done, and for that, we've need of the truth. I hear old Fornival is the subject of an inquest. His conviction would bring me no joy, not least for the loss of revenue I would suffer. Arisen, I have a proposition, sir. I've long had dealings with Fornival and want to believe in his innocence. Pray, take a petition for his acquittal from me, that it may help sway his arbiters. I entrust my petition to you. I cannot afford to let old Fornival leave this mortal coil just yet. Arisen, I would speak with you. Privately. This is not the place. It is a conversation best had after dark. Meet me in the courtyard by night. Fornival's inquest will not wait for us long. Well As I met, recall, sir. Fornival has a daughter, a young woman. If your meeting is in the deep of night, best to wait in the castle gardens. Someone must know something about Hello. this matter. Tell me, sir, what is to become of my father? You're the arisen, are you not? Can you not do what to help him? I could not bear to lose him. Even if the things they say were true, I still... He was ever a kind father to me. A petition? Of course, I would gladly draft one. I would draft a hundred if it be a help. Steady on. Are you resting properly, sir? The tasks before you ill leave room for exhaustion. With you go the hopes of all Grancis arisen. Pray, tread with care. Oh, <laughs> 
Bones just marched in, eh? Hold me prisoner like some common criminal. It is madness and base insult. You there, you're an able sort. There's time yet before my trial is decided. Pray, arrange for my acquittal however you may. If you see me through this storm, I'll sell to you at cost for the rest of my days. Tis a generous offer, eh? Now go, and pray put an end to this farce. I'm eager to be quit of this confinement. Please, sir. <sighs> the blustering fools just... You this. Tis a... Now go. Stands ahead. It is a gathering place for my kind. <laughs> now, where shall we head? I've heard tell that Fornival stands trial. None's the pity. I fancy myself the forgiving sort, but I'll not mourn his passing. I'm scarce the only one he's wronged either. The man built his fortune on the backs of honest folk. I'll gladly add my name to a petition if it means no others need suffer at his hands. Steady on. I heard of Fornival's inquest. Serves a lot right, says I. I'll sign any petition you set before me if it means he'll hang for what he's done. He deserves no better after what he did to my family. Fornival's met with an inquest? Tis past time the law caught up with that rat. I'll not forget the pain he caused me as long as I live. The caitiff put my house to ruin. I shall sleep better a night, knowing no others will suffer the same fate. Let him rot. I gladly commit my name to the petition for his conviction. We've done it! in a wide variety. I see you even that makes this Oh completed the here friend An inquest eh? Cheers. I welcome the diversion. I know it is improper to say so, but you'll not deny the thrill of awaiting a judgment. Though it's the rare trial that's not decided before it begins, if truth be told. Proofs are easily falsified. Testimony is still more so. There's always someone with cause to want one outcome or the other, and the means to ensure it. Which brings me to a very special deal for you, friend. Writs of affidavit for sale at bargain rates. I've statements of varying guilt or innocence. Quite the clever forgeries, these. They always sell well when there's an inquest on. And why not? Tis a heady thing to buy a man's guilt or innocence. If you've mistaken the trial's result, you'd be a fool not to. I'll disavow we ever spoke if asked, my. The choice is yours to make. My prices ebb and flow with the tides of the trial. Still, tis a small price for... You'll not regret... Make good use of it. Back in need, far be it. You'll pay my price, though. You'll not regret it. Make good. Back in need, far be it for me. You'll pay my price, though. No end. Now, let us talk of this. 
Now, the prey call it. Salvation is on the tongues of everyone, from peasant to noble. What? Forneval stands trial? Tis a pity. In truth, the man was profligate. His ostentation earned him envy and enmity in equal parts. But he was not the sort of man to seek profit in the misfortunes of others. I will add my name to the petition. I shall pray that his innocence is proven. We've done it! So Fornival is to stand trial. I cannot say it surprises me. I overheard him speaking with one of the Duke's ministers. It was a clandestine dealing, far departed from legitimate trade. A bit of smuggling, perhaps. I am in your debt, Arisen. Mayhap this is all I can do to repay you. Pray, take me to Grand Soren with you. I shall gladly take the stand, if it means bringing his crimes to light. It would be a pleasure to restore some scrap of order to this world gone mad. Please, sir, see me to the capital, that I may help justice be done. My thanks, Arisen. May the Maker speed our steps. It is a port crystal. One can reach it from anywhere with the use of a magic item. This is a place quite restful to my cousin. That peddler in Grand Soren, Renard. He knew all to Fauna. The stairs ahead lead atop the castle walls. These stairs serve as a useful route in their own right. You are to see me for your... I speak... Pray, make your choice. Brought a witness, have you? Excellent work. I shall see to the necessary accommodations until the day of the trial. There's time yet, sir. Pray, can... Good. You've brought... Here. I sh... There's time yet, sir. You are to see... I speak... Pray, make your... I would... Material... The inquest... There's time. You are to. I speak. Pray. Make. I would ask. But the ink. Good. You brought here. There's time. You are to. I speak. Pray. Make your. I would ask. But the ink. Good. You here. There's time. You are to, I speak, pray, make your, I would ask, material, the inquiry. Good, you've brought.
brought it. here. There's time. You are to see. I speak. Pray. Make your. I would ask you to seek out material evidence. The inquest has but a few days remaining. You are to see me, I pray, make your, ch I would ask, material, uh, the inquest. Good, you've brought it here, there's time. You are to, I pray, make your choice, sir. No doubt you're aware, the roads are ever more overrun with beasts of every stripe. The threat has only worsened since the dragon's coming. Trade has suffered. Citizens have died. A company of the land's finest sword hands have been gathered to thin the creature's numbers. It is no perfect solution, but it is a start. I would ask you to join them, sir. There's been no end of reports of caravans bearing tribute bound for Grand Soren being waylaid by monsters. Among them, the direst threat is posed by the Griffin. It is not a creature easily quelled, but we can ignore it no longer. Hence the company of elites. And now it seems they are prepared to face the beast. They stand in wait outside the castle gate. Go and speak with them for further detail. I fear this may be a long battle, sir. May the Maker be your shield. We'd best ask what the men of the Corps have planned. Well met, sir. Griffins have no love of fire. Best we ready some before we join the others. Blustering fools, just... Now go. to brace for lightning if we aim to hunt Griffin. Remember to save enough for lodging. Griffins. I hear an uh, Have your pick. What will it be to Have your pick. Any you like. Have your pick. Any you like. What will it be today? Have your pick. Any you like. What will it be today?
What will it be today? Have your pick. Any you like. your pick, any you like. What will it be today? What will it be today? Have your pick. Come again soon. Business is wrong. The master works all.
A fellow just have your pick. Any you like. What will it be today? What will it be? To have your pick. Come again. Duke's gone well and truly. Shoot, sure. but who's some a piece of? You'll be. I'm sure you'll find out. I'm sure you'll find all you need. I'm sure any. I wonder if there are rarities from abroad. 